Welcome back. Hey, everybody. We've got some cool things for you today, and one of them is... Our National Days coming up in August. August yes. 1st, celebrate National Girlfriend Day. There you go. So go take your girlfriend and get her some flowers. Another one coming up in August, I'm not sure about the dates, but you can look them up, is one of my favorites, National Watermelon Day. Oh, yeah. Doesn't take the place of National Ice Cream Day, <laughs> no, no, not did at all. Did you have ice cream? I did. I did, too. I, I have ice cream every day, though. I was just getting ready to say that. I had ice cream today on my way over here, yeah. but you know, she took it from me, so we'll go on. And then we have this is one of the most strange days, and I thought everybody likes a little contrast in their life. Yeah. National Wiggle Your Toes Day is in August. So look it up. Well, I believe it's August 6th. So look yeah. up August 6th. It's National Wiggle Your Toes. So wiggle your toes. Isn't that a strange day? Well, I imagine that came from being in the water. You know how you go fishing and you wiggle your toes in the water? She always comes up with the greatest answers. <laughs> I don't I even know what to say to that. But it, it might be. Well, I'm sitting on the pool wiggling my toes. August 6th, I guess she would be. Yeah. See, normally I would be preparing for school. So oh, once no. August hits, I would never get in the swimming pool. You don't have to do that anymore. So now. I don't. I get in the pool every day. Yeah, you can wiggle your toes. I think I, I can wiggle my toes. Every day. August 6th, too. Oh, okay. We're moving on. Miss <laughs> Debbie has some new information about our farmer's almanac. I'm oh. so thankful that she didn't ask me to do this. <laughs> so I'm excited to introduce it. I don't even know about it. Well, now, there's some cool things people don't realize. And these really work, you all. Don't, uh, don't think they're old wise tales because they're really true. There's things about, you know, when do you plant? The plants that grow under the ground like potatoes and onions, when do you plant those? Well, the sign of the moon will tell you whether you want to plant things that are under the ground or above the ground. So you want to go by that and it really works. It makes a difference in the yield on your crop. So you want to be careful and kind of pay so attention to those. So that's why they call it the farmer's almanac? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you saw this first. I really did not know that until just now. I thought you always, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell you guys, I always do this, but I thought the farmer's almanac was to tell you what the weather was going to be when you were going on vacation. <laughs> Um, no, it's not the only reason it's there. It's to tell you that. It's a joke. It will even tell you when is the best time to cut a tree, when's the best time to kill weeds so that they I don't have, come back. You're right. I have utilized it one other time yes. when I was a hairdresser. Right. Well, I still uh, am. Yeah. And we would do it for cutting hair. Yes. Because so. when you cut it at a certain time of the moon, the hair grows slower. Yes. And, and other people, times you cut it and it grows faster. Right. And some people want their hair to not grow as fast. And, yes. And where others want their hair to grow really long. Right. So I did, I remember that. Yes, I mean, but I didn't realize it was created for the farmers. Yes, until, you know. yes, it was created for the farmers. Because <laughs> it's called the Farmer's Almanac. <laughs> Still <laughs> trying to freak it. Oh my goodness. She's going to wrap her head around yeah. this here in just a second, guys. This is just like the tax bill. <laughs> it is? <laughs> yes. But the coolest thing is, and there's some things about your garden. Um, I know my grandmother used to sprinkle Epsom salt around the plants when she'd plant them like broccoli or um, cabbage and cauliflower because the rabbits will eat those. But if you plant those and sprinkle a little bit of Epsom salt around it, the moisture will suck that up in the plant. It doesn't bother you and you don't taste it, but the rabbits don't like it. Truly, did you learn that in the farmer's almanac? Or yes, your grandmother my did? grandmother, yeah. There's all kinds of things that you can do. I think do. I'm going to go get one today. <laughs> I'm going to read the whole thing. I really did. I always just looking at what's the weather going to oh, be. Oh, no. There's today. all kinds of stuff in there. Like the like I said, the best days to plant plants that are crops that produce under the ground and mm -hmm. crops that produce above the ground. You want to plant in that moon sign because if you don't, they won't produce as much. But it does tell yield. you in there. Am I wrong? It does tell you in there what the predicted weather yes. will be certain day. Okay. Yes. That it does. <laughs> that is so neat. It does. And it even gives you specific days that you should do certain things. And But the Farmer's Almanac is very useful. And I I tell you, I've, I don't know, I don't remember ever not using the Farmer's Almanac. I, I just thought everybody knew what the Farmer's Almanac was. <laughs> I'm glad we knew that now, but we're going to add that, correct? Is yeah, that, we're going to add that. part of our show. And we'll, we'll try I'm excited. To do I'll, things. Learn. I'll learn like quite a bit. The month of August, we'll try to do um, what's 
really good in the month of August? What's good in the month of September? When is it good to prune a tree? So as those things come up in the Farmer's Almanac, we'll start doing those to where people will know ahead of time, you know, next month it's a good time to prune, or next month it's a good time to do this, or, you know, on this date it's best to plant your potatoes and things like I that. I love it. I cannot wait. Yeah, and it'll help new people that are learning to farm. That sure. have never done it. Young people are going back to the farming, and they don't really have a guideline. Well, the farmer's market is, it's my mamma and papa, well, my papa was really worse when he always said the farmer's almanac is a farmer's Bible. Hmm. So he, if it said something, he did it. It didn't matter what it said, he would do it. That is yeah. unique in itself. That is going to add to our show. I cannot wait. Yeah. I'm so excited. Next time, we will definitely have whatever it says for that <laughs> month in the Farmer's Almanac. I'm going to have to do some research. I think it's great she's learned something today. I have. But I learned something new every well, day. We learned something from you, too, about the solid waste management right. stuff and, you know, things I never thought about. It's like, what? But that's okay. We're, I think that is amazing. Yeah. If you guys will hold on one second, we'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself, you'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We're just two miles from Madison, Indiana and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park in the Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you. Welcome back. Now we've got something really cool. Miss Tina has her live love spot. So what's what we have today, Miss Tina? This is probably, I say that every time, so they're all <laughs> exciting does. to me. But this is super exciting because it pertains to our lives on a daily basis. And the word is expectations. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to say this. It's going to sound a little different, but we're talking about expectations of others as right. well as yourself. Right. What we do, and we tend to do, is we hold people to the first expectation yes you know so what happens in relationships and our friendships wherever even in our family so when we begin to talk to somebody or about somebody we have expectations set up right what if you tweaked them just a little bit and instead of expecting well you know he always did this <laughs> Instead say, I'm going to expect, in my mind, not out loud, but just in your mind, I'm going to expect him to do, or her, to do something a little bit different. Be the best better, way. Better. A better yeah. way. Yeah. I teach every one of my clients to say this one statement. Everybody knows it, and if you're watching right now, you're probably getting ready to repeat it. What's best for me will always be. Right. So when you are getting ready to make an expectation, a statement, or a thought about someone else, that really does reflect on you. It comes back to you, just yep. like we talk about the law of attraction and what goes around comes around, karma. But it's even in the way you perceive other people. Right. So if you're in a relationship that you're constantly saying, well, you know, he's going to come home late today, or she's going to come home and she's going to say this, 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 back up, back up. Right. Try to rewind it a little bit and think, he's going to walk through that door and tell me how much he loves me. And no, it may not be the perfect expectation outcome, but right. if you start practicing this, I promise, either... This is sad to say, either those people that don't fulfill your expectation of the energy will disappear into your life, or they will start fulfilling what you expect of them. Right. And I taught this in school all the time, and it right. works. It works. So start sending those happy expectations out and leave the ones they've already done that. Ooh. They've made that yeah, mistake over and over it. again. You can't. It's gone. You really can't. Yeah. So that's for Live Love Today. Think about what you're expecting of yourself and others, and if you don't like what you're receiving, tweak it just a little bit and yep. watch it change for you for the better. And don't forget, what's best for me will always be. Repeat it over and over again, and the universe just kind of begins to bring what's best for you always. Yep. 
So up next is, of course, our fancy, famous <laughs> grandma's corner. She is the most fancy and beautiful. No. Okay, she wants me to stop. I'll I'm stop. not the most fancy <laughs> and beautiful. No, you are fancy though. You I'm are fancy, beautiful. Baby. So don't yeah. cut those okay. out. <laughs> Well, we have something kind of different now. Usually I'm bragging on my grandchildren, but I had an issue this weekend that I thought was, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. Well, I have a grandchild that has a car and doesn't think it's important to wash that car and then puts their girlfriend in that car. <laughs> This is funny. She's already told me this story, so and, you guys listen to this. And so I'm good. going, I go, wait a minute. You picked up your girlfriend and you didn't wash the car. And he was like, no. Why would I do that? I, well, why not? You're putting something you prize, your special, your 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 all your world. You're taking your world and you're putting it in this car. What do you think about this world? When you put it in a car, this is dirty. <laughs> Back to those expectations. I mean, I mean it is I'm I'm telling you, I was getting ready to give him money to wash the car. That's how bad it was. And I know he doesn't think it's important, but I'm just going to tell you all this is this is the way I think. If you think someone is special and you're going to take them somewhere, then that car better reflect that. Or uh, anything else. Anything else? Yes. The, oh. I know he's a little go, young, but you go. think about when you were dating. Yeah. yeah. You know, if if some of you are a little older, like maybe not older, but <laughs> above 18, or okay? Old. But you have dated. Let me ask you something. Did you ever go into somebody's place or or go to somebody's car and be like, I am not, no way. I have. Yeah. I can remember in college. That's so funny. I, I didn't even remember that. But yes. I remember a guy, he was so good looking, seemed to have, you know, everything going for him. Nice gentleman, the way he asked me out. And I want yes. you to know, he drove up to my dorm room. <laughs> I was like, you need to go on, dude. I don't know what that is, but I'm not getting it. And at that time, I think I thought it was stuck up, but I, I, I now realize well, it wasn't. It's not. It's I, to me, now, like I said, this is my own opinion. It's just me, but it may not be just me. But anyway, when maybe he had driven through the mud right before he went to get her or whatever. Right. But when you pull up to pick someone up for a date, for a date, and, yes. and to take them out, that tells them what you think about them. If that car is filthy, and you know, one, do you care about yourself? Now, if you're do going you mud about running, them, yeah, that's different. That. If you're going to some place to do right. run, runs right. like that. And that's what, yeah. But if you're if you're just left the house and you're going to pick somebody up to go out on a special event, or just, it's people are going to ask themselves, how do you think about yourself if the mm -hmm. car's filthy? What do you think about the person you just put in that car? Right. Do you really value them if you put them in a dirty car? Uh, you know, I, I can see that totally. And I don't remember even judging just, the name of the car because when I went to school, we didn't exactly. have fancy cars. Just, it was just the fact that yeah. he had to clean out the front seat to put me in it. And I said, you need to go on. I don't think I ever talked to that guy again. <laughs> I yeah. saw him on campus. I was like, no, no, I don't know what you have First, going on. <laughs> yeah, impre impression is big. It how is. you dress, how you treat people, how you how you take care of them right you know but did you then, open the car door for her I know women are independent nowadays and most women don't expect it but did you care enough to open the door for her? right did you care enough to wash your car <laughs> before you picked her up and because I, if you don't wash that car well they can get their dress dirty or right. when they open the door if it brushes well they're not going to be happy I mean I, even if I'm going mudding and I do go if I'm dressed and I open the, and I get dirty before I ever get there, right? I'm not happy because I may have to go in the grocery store between here and there, and I need to look presentable because of what we do. I don't need to walk in and be all muddy before I go to the mud, right? But yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a great. I don't think I ever thought of it in that perspective, but I remember when right. you told me the story. And I thought, do you respect them enough? Yeah, and yeah. care enough. It doesn't matter how long you've dated them. I mean, oh, I no. even went home yeah, and told my husband. This better be after 40 years of marriage. Right. You better be taking care of what you're putting in that car. <laughs> yeah. so don't, don't let Eric see this. My, <laughs> my car is filthy right now. I just realized that. I'm like, wait a minute. Well, don't put Eric in it until you get it clean. Oh, I would never. 
but it's for different reasons guys <laughs> yeah different reasons <laughs> well let's move on to the solid waste management coordinator okay so it, most of you know that I have a new position yes and although it's not political it's truly a mandated position in the state of Kentucky right. If it was political, or I do see a great deal of politicians. You do. You deal with a lot of political And I people. deal with them. Yeah. And I know how it feels to get, I mean, sometimes you just get bashed. It's like <laughs> Facebook can take you down or it can lift you up. But everybody goes through that. And as I see a lot of these friends of mine that are, you know, whatever they're doing at that time, that they're running for an office, they want to become angry. Well, about the, comments that you know, people have made. We've, we've had to deal with this a lot in Trimble County. Yes. And there's big even issues. Even now, even after yeah. things, there's people that say ugly things about each other. Yeah, in meetings or right. in public or on social media. And it's real, it can get really bad sometimes. And so what we're thinking is, if have you thought about, go back to the live love and the energy. Right. When you're thinking right. about energy, energy is energy. So if you get defensive and you're like, don't say that about me or, you know, don't do this. Right. It happens to create a negative energy. Yeah, and we've we've told some political friends of ours. Yes. And, and Speak about what you yeah, want to well, talk about, the good things. We, we've told a couple people, don't even look oh, at, no, yeah. you know, the accounts. You, you take care of business. You go to your meetings in Frankfurt or you go to this or you go to that and you don't pay attention. You just take care of business. Exactly. And oh, that's wonderful. That is yeah. so true because just in the fact of when you're in home, like say right. you're are homebound, right. Debbie had to come and tell me. I mean, it had been <laughs> bad. It was. It was like my third month of being trapped in that house and she walks in and I'm like, the whole world's falling apart and everybody's diet or everybody needs bad. prayer and she was like what are you doing and I was spending the majority of my time reading those Facebook posts yeah don't get me wrong I love all social media I love cell phones I am an advocate I love them but just understand that this is the way for people to get their out uh, yeah uh, what they need yeah. to say if it doesn't bother you it's kind of like stirring the pot of poo you know right if you find a cow patty, leave it alone and Just you walk, walk past it, it, yeah. it doesn't ever smell. But if you walk up to a cow patty <laughs> and you stir it, it's this is something I learned when I was a little girl, and you stir it, it smells really bad, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cow manure smells really bad when you're spreading it. Okay, politicians, here it is for you from me. Think about not worrying. Take care more think about what you really want to see happen. <laughs> yeah. Not all those other stuff because there's always going to, one of the most difficult things I ever had to learn was everybody's not going to like you. And, and with your position, that was that was big because you've never been in a political position nope. like this before. So well, I have, but it was to school board. Into the, yeah. So it was school, and I still went right. through that. You know what I mean? Right. It was, and that was an this election This one was just position. in a broader base. Yes. So this is something she's really... And it's a, all these different politicians that get elected and yeah. then they get put in this pot of people right. and they have to make decisions. Enjoy, I guess what I'm trying to say is enjoy the contrast. Yeah. And utilize it to say, well, how could I fix that? How could I right. do like Miss Debbie says and make this situation better right. when I come into it? And take care of, if you just remember to take care of business. Take care of business. I think that kind of... And then Doesn't. remember to state the statement. Go in front of a mirror. If you, <laughs> if you are a politician and you're struggling a little bit, get in front of that mirror and say, what's best for me will always be. What's best for me will always be. Can I say Todd? Yeah, I can. Todd Pollock, <laughs> we know that you say this every day. So I don't know that. She does. I do know that. <laughs> and he will be the first person to be an advocate for us saying that because I remind him every time. So don't forget. What's best for you will always be as long as you expect it. Right. So stay on that line of positivity and forget all the crud. Yeah. And we really appreciate you all watching and we love our sponsors. So oh, yes. We're, we're really grateful that you all tune in and we'll bring you some more things with the questions we've been asked, which is what we did today. We've been had these things addressed to us, so we've made sure we looked them up or took care of them. So. And I'm going to go get my farmer's almanac. <laughs> And so next time we come in here, she's gonna know. What I might even get about. an accent. I don't know. I have one, but I might get a, a little better one. I don't know. <laughs> she she won't. <laughs> but, as always, thank you for watching.